Today I'm going to talk about tattoo ink colours and what they may or may not be. So when we see a colour like this in a tattoo, we may well assume that it is green. And it might be, and it might not be. This green colour may well be a mixture of yellow and blue inks. inks. It may well be a mixture of green and yellow inks. Or it could be a combination of all three, green, yellow and blue. Or it might even be a darker green ink with some lightening agent like titanium dioxide to make it brighter. So while we may perceive this ink colour to be green, our perceptions may well be wrong. So when it comes to treating these with uh, lasers, what's the best wavelength? Is it uh, 1064 or 532 from the YAG laser? Is it 755 from the Alexandrite? Or would it be 694 from the Ruby laser? The answer is, we don't know. What happens to these colours after the laser treatment? Well, it may well change colour. Um, you might have a, a green ink which is actually composed of blue and yellow. The blue well may well disappear under treatment and the, the green appears more of a, a yellowy colour. Or you may well have um, some, some, of the, some sort of a chemical change which changes the green from a light colour to a darker colour. I've seen this with um, red ink turning black. Um, the reality is it's just impossible to predict. And what we have to remember is that uh, almost every tattoo ink out there nowadays will contain some level of titanium dioxide or something similar. And this chemical is highly reflective at all wavelengths in the visible spectrum and near infrared. So it will, uh, the, the titanium will reflect a lot of the incoming laser energy, which will have a, a negative impact on the absorption. So the answer to the question which wavelength is best for any particular colour is that nobody knows. Only your uh, actual results will tell you once you've tried and tested the wavelengths that you have available to you. So this young lady had uh, this tattoo put in and her skin reacted badly to the green ink as you can see here and also to some of the black ink too. Um, in fact the ink, the, the skin sorry, uh, rejected the, uh, the, the, the green ink quite uh, quite badly uh, and it took uh, a good few months for it to, to heal up. But about a year or so later she went back to the tattoo artist and requested um, some, some fresh ink in there. Uh, she still wanted green but the artist decided to mix up uh, uh, green, sorry, blue and yellow and so gave her this appearance. So you might look at this and say well that's green but it's not and you can actually, in actual fact you can see that there are uh, various shades of this mixture of green and uh, blue to, sorry, yellow and blue. So you can see that uh, what might appear to be green is most definitely not. And this will have an impact on the uh, any, any laser treatment that you might uh, decide to try here. So keep in mind always that um, the color that you see with your eyes may or may not be a real representation of the actual ink colour that's in the skin and you might not know until you try. Uh, thanks for watching and listening to this and uh, I hope you've uh, picked up something from this. Thanks then, bye.